Hi, I'm Kevin Halloran. I'm here with Tim Sattler. Tim just preached a message on the book of Titus for us. And I have a few questions for you, Tim. First question is, you mentioned that Titus, in your opinion, is kind of like the stepchild of the pastoral epistles. Can you explain why? Well, yeah, I, it, it, uh, on my shelf <laughs> in my library, Titus is always jammed into some other commentary. And, and to me, there's something about it, us missing that Titus has a message in and of itself, all right? And I think that, you know, in practice, I remember as a young man, I would always think of Titus as the other pastoral epistle. You know, you go to First Timothy for the real stuff, but then Titus was Titus just the, the B team. other one. Yeah, the B team, there you go. So, so I don't know, I just, uh, to me, it just kind of seems like the stepchild, you know? <laughs> He's there in the room, but um, not really part of the family in some ways. So, yeah. and yet Titus has an, a, a great important gospel challenge for pastors and leaders and even just uh, every, every the, the everyday person in the church. It has a real gospel challenge of what we expect to see the gospel do in our lives. And you mentioned in your message, your melodic line for mm -hmm. the book, kind of a summary statement. Yeah. Would you mind sharing that with us? Yeah, it comes out of uh, just this whole aspect of the Cretan culture that you can trust the gospel. Paul, Paul tells Timothy, and I didn't actually say in this message, that he's, a ch he's his true child in the common faith. He's just expressed his gospel is all about the faith of the gospel, right? or his pro proclamation is all about the faith of those who believe in the gospel. And so Timothy's, or Titus is one of these men with common faith. And I think that starts driving the book. And you've got this Cretan culture that says, can't change a Cretan. And yet the, the the great grand message is you can change a Cretan. They've got the wrong framework. Paul has the right framework. The gospel can change even the Cretan in your community. And so for me, it's it, you can trust the gospel. Titus needs to trust the gospel for everything he's doing. You can trust the gospel to transform the, the worst person in your community to become a leader, a godly leader, or a fruitful uh, participant in the growth and the glory of Christ Church. So we can trust the gospel because the gospel works. Yes. But there are a lot of temptations to do something else. Well, right? I think there are. There, there always are. There's always a drift away from the centrality of the, the gospel and trusting in its power. There, there's always a drift. in Everybody's always looking for something new rather than just the old, old story that, that God intends to work through. What are some of the things that people might lean upon instead of the gospel? Oh, there's programs. There's... Um, personalities you know there's a curb appeal in the churches today that's a, a big thing and and I think that Paul is really pre presenting the case that the the gospel itself presents a, a a great appeal to people because what you see is power God's power at work in somebody's life and I think I think that in in reality if I read the news feeds right people know that there's a problem in the world. People know there's a problem in their life and people are looking for what might help change that. And trying to manufacture our own power mm -hmm. is no comparison to God's supernatural exactly. power. Exactly. Obviously. Uh, and that actually ties to my last question for you. You mentioned there's a link between transformation and multiplication of ministries. Can you explain that link a little more? Yeah, I think that... Um, just in working with pastors around the world, I think that pastors look for something that'll work to to do the make the next step of change. And I think that uh, the reality is that transformation is contagious. And if you focus in discipleship on transformation, or if you focus in, a, in evangelism on transformation, you get testimonies of what's happening. You, you have people, uh, you know, live their lives, transform lives before their people. When that begins to be multiplied, you can't stop it.